Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today we are watching Freerun episode 9. I literally, like, just watched the 8th episode, put on a sweater, and sat down and got ready to watch the 9th episode. Um, so in the last episode, it was a good one, we learned about the evolution of Qual's spell Zoltrak and how Freerun was a vital, vital person in turning that spell on its head and making it go from being a killing magic spell to a killing demon magic. And Fern fired that off against Lugner, who then realized that he recognized that she was similar to someone he's met before, and that's when he remembered who, how he remembered Freerin, because she was the one who has slain more demons than anyone else in history. Um, and yeah, so Stark and Fern were taking on the other demons while uh, Freerin, she got out of her jail cell without, you know, even really trying to. Um, Drat was there and he, she had to kill him. She, she, it was kill or be killed, so she had to do it. Um, and they really want them to lower the defensive barrier magic so that um, Aura, who I've finally seen, so that her and her army can raise the town. And yeah, so a lot is going on right now. This episode is called Aura the Guillotine. Excited to learn a bit more about her she, because Freerin has also said that she is stronger than Aura as well. And Freerin's about to take on like Aura and an entire army. She's like ready to do it. So I believe in her, you know? I do, I really, I, I believe in Freerin. So yeah, let's get into this episode. I'm ready to go like comment subscribe all that uh let's get me to 3000 i'm saying it like every video until it happens so if it's annoying then subscribe or else <laughs> anyways let's get into this episode i still got the freer in hair not that you can really tell but I, I i love her little pigtails so much okay let's get into this episode Stop recording. okay we are getting right into the intro this time which is interesting um I'm assuming this is probably going to be kind of an intense episode. Ah, uh, I just want my fur and hair to come across and it's just, it's just not. I'm going to have to, I was thinking of making like a non-reaction video for fur Um, maybe I'll do this hair for that as well so it can show off better. All right, we're okay. Right where we left off. He remembers how he knows her. Mm. That is so fucking boss of her. Nice. I'm ready. I'm ready to see how strong she is. She's one of those geniuses that he hates. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for her. Fern was so cool in the last episode, too. Stark. You were- Stark is so... odd. <laughs> but he- oh man, he's wearing the shirt. That shirt, it does something to me. When people wear that shirt... Ugh. Oh. Granat, I underestimated. He's pretty- he was pretty smart. Good for him. Okay, good. I figured. She was right. Like, I was always on her side. No, she's got a... She's got a big thing going on already. Good for you. Good for you. Uh-huh. Yeah, he knew. I was like, he knows her. Mm. Well... Oh! <gasps> flashback? 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 Oh, uh, Aura, you are the worst, honestly. You suck. Okay, there we go. 80 years. Hmm. That's with the scale. <gasps> oh, okay, I didn't even notice <laughs> until now that all the guards are headless. Okay, interesting. Interesting. 
It was 80 years ago that they defeated the Demon King, right? Hmm. It's about 80 years, okay. Puppets. Of course they're puppets. Hmm. Don't you look so smug. Oh. Good for you, Freerun. The necklace? They all have some kind of... Yeah, one of them had the... Oh, no, is that... Wait. They had the, the granite family crest on it, right? Granite family crest? One of them? Scales of obedience. That allows her to force others... Oh... Hmm. Places her own soul in that of her target. Okay. So she almost always wins that battle. <gasps> that is so depressing. <gasps> that is so depressing. Oh, man. She, she, no way, is she gonna try that against Freerin? Oh. This old greater amount of auras were to be placed on the scales. Yeah, does she not realize this? Okay. In a sage of destruction. Oh, all you have to do is be stronger than her. Have more magic than her. Powerful wills could temporarily resist the spell. <gasps> There's that family crest. Okay. was that? That's his son, isn't it? Great. Mm. That with them in the most logical way. Okay. Oh, your son. I'm. S oh, you can feel his uh, sadness. <gasps> How dare you slice her hair? You are annoying. <laughs> She's so annoying. <gasps> Take that. How did you do your hair like that? Hmm. <gasps> Is she gonna try and like wear her down and then try and use the scales? Hmm. Oh, I want to see that. Nice. Oh. Oh, and that's why she's doing it differently. <gasps> Oh. 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 <laughs> uh oh. Uh, don't bring up him, Ulta Freerin. <laughs> Just maybe don't. Hmm. Damn, I love that shirt. I love that shirt. I love Stark's outfit so much. It's the shirt. It's the sleeveless shirt. I just... I love it. No, don't put that on. Damn it! Uh, love that animation of him putting on the coat? Mm. They know where they are because the blood is on them, though. They're gonna sneak attack you. Look at Fern's hair! Beautiful. Mmm... <gasps> Oh, look at that! Stark! Look at you! Is he gonna do this all on his own? He's scared, that's obviously. Whoa! Oh my god! Stark. Stark. But. They were so close to being able to do it. Hmm. He's going to get Freerun. 
I don't know if you do. Stop talking to her. Mm. Well, he's got a point. He's got a, he's got a point. Hmm. I don't know. The sneakiness works well for them. Both of them. Yes, thank you. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god. Fine, I guess I can listen to Sukuna's voice more. I'm just kidding. He's his own person. Mm. He won't die a decent death. Eek. I feel like you'll be okay. Oh shit, he's got a vengeance. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he knows. <laughs> right. To teach her. Oh, shit. She really fucking hates the demons. Figure it out. Use your brain. Nice. Yeah. <gasps> Bird. Yes, girl. Oh, shit. Good for her. She's, she's very much like Furin. <gasps> hmm, yeah, he could have just... Yeah. He's confident. Mm. He's toying with her. He just doesn't even... There's just no respect. He only respect... He, he only feels threatened. Yeah, he only feels threatened by Furin. Hmm. What are you gonna do, Fern? Hmm. I'm interested. Okay. To see what she does. Well, girl, you're 17. She's over a thousand years old. Yeah. <laughs> like, give it some time. Yeah. Oh. That only applies to mana and technique, okay. Mmm, Furin's taught her well. Well, she has to prepare her. Oh. Interesting. Fern does have something going, like, for her stronger than Furin. So has she. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, she really has. She's really, really dedicated. And she has a very good teacher. <gasps> oh, it was quick. She's fast. And she didn't even fucking flinch. <gasps> so nice to see how strong Fern is. I love it. I love it. She really is like one of a kind. Oh, that's a word I don't know. <laughs> oh no, Stark. Oh, Stark will be fine. Um, Stark will be fine. 
Yeah. No. Oh, she's pretty fucking cool. Wow, good for her. <gasps> oh, Fern, you look so majestic. Look at her, she's strutting. She's cold. Oh, beautiful. She's making him work. She's making him run around. Oh, shut up. I, I believe in her at this point. She's very fast. Fa she's faster than Freerun, which is wild. And she just keeps a straight face the whole time. How did you train? Well, Fern works very hard. I was so excited to see what Fern can do! See all of the training she's done, how it pays off. Wow, she's unflinching. Mm. Oh, come on! Come on, come on, Stark. Interesting. I wonder. Uh, I'm. She is probably the more most interesting one. I love. I love her. Fa oh. Oh man, boy's about to have another scar. <gasps> Memorize. What if you just don't use mana? Hmm. She's pretty cool. <gasps> Ouch! Ow! 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 Oh man, Stark, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna die here. Mm. Those powerful warrior. <gasps> she memorized Aizen's moves. Oh, come on. That's an unfair advantage. Come on, Stark. Add your own flavor into it. I am imitating movements of Aizen. <gasps> He's not going to like that. Sorry, Stark. Add, add your own flair into it, you know? You can! You can! You are not Aizen, you are you! Oh god. Come on, Stark. <laughs> yes, just walk it off! It'll be fine! Ah. Yes, he's wearing the shirt. Oh, so cute. Oh. Mm. Back up. Huh, interesting. What the heck is he talking about? <gasps> There's something. Okay. Ooh. Isn't so fucking smart. I mean, she's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Good for you, sir. Oh, shade. Mm hmm. That way, that means he doesn't. He can't lose. Come on. Oh, I love this dance. They're saying words. They're saying words they don't know. That's okay. It happens. I don't speak German. Oh, pretty. Oh. But. I keep being like, so... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's what he was using on like the mountain when he was training. I think, I don't know. That's what it looks like. With one strike, he wins. Linny. <gasps> yes! Oh, oh! You took your eye off the ball for one second, and she got you. She, she was quick. Demon killing magic, instead of a demon using K 
killing magic. It's demon killing magic. Ooh, okay, this episode was called Aura of the Guillotine, but I barely even saw her. Um, this was like a fucking Fern and Stark episode. That was wild. Good for them. Oh, that was so cool. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I loved seeing Fern. Oh, I loved seeing her, what she could do. <gasps> she was so cool. I was not expecting that. I mean, I'm, I'm, of course she's cool. It's cool that she has this, like, one advantage over Freerin, where she has speed. She's able to, like, fire off spells faster than her. That's a small thing, but that was really helpful in that scenario. And the fact that she can, like, do so much without even, like, flinching or, like, changing her face. Like, it's funny because she, she's fighting the demon, but she almost herself seems a bit like a demon. She has, like, she, it feels like she has, like, no emotion. And she's using Zoltrek. It's just interesting how sometimes the things in this story, like, f flip. Like, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Okay, okay. It was one-fifth of my man. Hide her. Hide her! Kill all the elves! Powerful mage. Kill elves! Kill- what? Hide her! Okay. So, f so, oh my god. So Freerin has fought Aura before and she was way more like flashy with it last time she fought her. And Himmel was disappointed. Um... And Freerun finds the way that Aura is, like, controlling people like puppets is disgusting, which is not- Yeah, I agree with this. It's- it's- ugh. It's yucky. Yeah, Aura is, um, I've seen her before, and she sucks. <laughs> I mean, she looks cool, but her just using people like puppets, I mean, of course she's a demon, she would do that, but yikes. I saw that- I'm assuming his son- his son- was killed by her, I'm pretty sure he said. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I saw that family crest, and it could be someone else, but from everything I know, like, about his family so far, it seems like his son is the most likely option, which means if his son is being used as, like, a puppet in her army, he has so much- Granat has so much reason to hate Furin, or Furin, hate Aura. Oh my gosh, so many names. Um, yeah, that's that would be wild. Oh my gosh. I I need to see the Aura and Freerin fight. Like so far Freerin's not struggling. Uh, apparently she's used a lot of mana by doing by dispelling the puppets. But I don't know like what the threshold is for Freerin's mana. Like I do not know how much she has. Um, I'm assuming she has like a ton. I don't know if it's like a bottomless well of mana, but she Plans on fighting Aura differently this time than she did the first time, where she was just using flashy spells. So I'm, it, I'm, oh, I wish we, I wish I could have seen that. And who Aura bringing up a uh, Himmel like that? That Himmel's gone. <gasps> That's say Himmel is long gone, isn't he? <gasps> oh. Now, and Fern's like, well, now you said that, I can kill you without any mercy. Oh, do not do that. Do not do that to her. She, I, I think that's adding a lot of fuel to the flame, you know, adding a lot of fire under uh, Fern's butt. So, yikes. Aura, see ya. <laughs> I'm just interested. Okay, so Aura can, she like... Whoever she's facing, she uses, pours her, like, measures her mana against someone else's, and whoever has the strongest, she can make it so that she could control them like a puppet and get them to obey whatever she wants them to do. Which, if she uses that on Freerin, I don't know. Like, I don't know how much mana Freerin has. I'm assuming it's a crap ton. I'm assuming Aura has, like, a lot as well. So I don't really know. But, um, my bets are on Freerun has more. My other, if I were Aura, the other strategy would be to wear down Freerun to get her to use more mana. I don't know if it's, like, how much mana you have at the time or, uh, or how much you have overall that makes the scale or, like, is what would be measured in the scales. Um, I'm not quite sure, but if it's that she 
it's how much she has at that moment, then wearing her down would probably be helpful. Um, don't know if a demon is gonna do that. I could see a demon doing that, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, of course, I've only watched nine episodes, so... I don't know everything, um, but to me it seems like... Uh, it seems like Aura's kind of screwed if she tries that on Freerun. Um, Freerun just went up against her and this army without even flinching, and Aura seems very chill about it. So I'm like, Aura, come on, like... You're a demon, but read the room. <laughs> I don't think there's a situation here where you might win, uh, or you could win. I mean, I'm sure there is, but it's just if she takes that strategy. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of strategies that she could have to actually win against Freerun. I just don't know if she's going to do that. She seems very arrogant. She seems incredibly arrogant, so that's the read I have on her so far. Uh, and then, yeah. Watching Stark and for I mean, I knew they were gonna win. I wasn't like concerned about Stark losing. That would be so like I'm not watching Jujutsu Kaisen where I'm like, I, I don't like a real things could either go either way and just people can die at the drop of a hat. Um like to me these two kids like Fern and Stark are probably gonna win. It's just about like how. Um Lenny learning from imitating Aizen and just like using his moves against Stark Maybe I could see how it would work temporarily um, obviously it almost did but I Love that Aizen taught Stark the see. Yeah, I'll teach you the secret to defeating powerful opponents It's simple Keep getting back up and hitting them. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe it is simple Maybe it is simple what Aizen is uh, Okay, so Aizen teaching Stark that just like you you can win but if you just keep getting up because you are a warrior Okay, so it wasn't like some secret the sort of thing that I was thinking there at first It's just that he wants him to keep getting up again, but he she wasn't as strong as Aizen. She just knew his moves She was still really cool though. She was definitely one, probably the coolest of the three in my opinion. Uh, Lugner being destroyed by Fern. She used Soul Track twice on him. Really said, uh, demon killing magic, I'm gonna kill you. And then had that little scene in front of the moon. Fern is so intuitive and so smart. I, I really am enjoying her character more. Seeing her, like, take the spotlight more. I'm enjoying that a lot. She's, uh... It's cool to it's it's cool to see like Farron's teachings and how like her her kind of like personality rubbed off a bit on um, Fern since like Fern grew up with Farron for a long time like for a lot of her childhood um, yeah it's just uh it's cool to see that Fern has some kind of advantage here that she's just fast she's just faster at throwing out spells and. I, I, yeah, she, she acts so cold. It was so, it was so Freerun like. I liked it a lot. Fern was very cool. This, if I have to pick a, a star of this episode, it's definitely Fern, in my opinion. She was so cool. And she looked awesome. As soon as she realized there was like the blood on her coat that wasn't hers, she was just like, <gasps> throws her coat away. I mean, it was too late, but still, she, she, she's only like 17. Like, I think 17 or 18. Like, she, is still young but she's still quick to figure things out so she could only get stronger and stronger like she's pretty young so she's gonna be a threat she is gonna be one to be reckoned with but yeah i think that's pretty much all my thoughts for this episode i'm about to watch the 10th episode i'm ready to go <laughs> yeah so hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts on this episode um thank you for watching see you see you in the next one uh good episode really good episode thanks for watching Comment, like, subscribe. And yeah, I'm gonna go watch episode 10 now. Bye bye.